Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and happy Monday! In today's video I wanted to share with you my favorite metallic inks and pens to work with as I got asked a lot about them before and I'm really so glad to be able to discover all these different types of inks and pens and sharing with you all the information I know about them. So I will start today with the Aqua Pro from Schminky. I'm gonna show you how you can use them to make your own metallic pens and then we'll move step by step to the rest of my metallic pens and swatching all of them so if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see all my future videos and now let's get started hey guys so i will share with you how i personally use the aqua prunes powder because there is two different ways but i prefer to use the aqua prunes powder with the gum arabic you can also use it with your water and with, that will be more than enough but i prefer to use it with the gum arabic because i prefer to save them on a palette for later use so yeah that's what i prefer and that's what i think i have to share with you guys because i find the progress is really so fun to share with you and I would like to mention that I got my empty palette from artsoolkit.com and here I will put all the pins I'm gonna make with you guys today. Okay, so here we go. At first, pour some of your powder into your palette, but you don't need to put much as mine because I have a large palette, so I have to put more powder. And then just start to put some drops of water. I put about seven drops. But it actually depending on your powder quantity. I mean, like I put a lot, so I have to drop some more water. But usually I use, if I want to make a small quantity, you don't need to put so much water. So then you need to start dropping some of your gum or a pick. And here I dropped about 10 drops or so. And after that, you need to start mashing them or mixing them, whatever you want to say. But you have to mixing them very, very well until you get a very smooth texture. But actually, I suggest you if you use a flat palette because my palette weren't helpful at all. So I think if you use a flat palette, it will be more easier for you to mixing them and then to moving them to your new palette. And here is the texture that you are supposed to get after you mixing your gum or pick with a powder. It's supposed to be very pigmented and smooth and thick at the same time. So once you get this texture, all you need to do is moving your pen from the mixing palette to the new palette. Wait until they are completely dry and then using them as the watercolor pen you bought from the market. Okay guys, so now I will repeat the same exact steps but with different colors and I really hope you guys enjoy the progress.
guys I'm swatching the paint that we have did together just now and they are really look so good and the paint look very pigmented and stunning at the same time and I really love them all so much I really would love to hear from you guys which color of this three is your favorite the gold or the copper or the silver you like the most and as for me I really prefer the gold and the silver so so much and I really love to work with them a lot And the second thing that I really love about the metallic ink that it's really make your water cup drive you to another planet. Look how cool it is. So next one we have is the Ira color from Schminky as well, but this one is actually an acrylic ink. Actually, it's the only acrylic ink I have. I don't have any other color, but because I find this color is really special and the pigment is really good and the quality of the paint is good as well. So I think why not to share it with you guys because I don't see a lot of artists using it. So I think I have to share it with you and especially if you use it with your watercolor printing, it will really make a good effect. Okay, so next I will be swatching the Ecoline Golden Ink, but here I have two bottles because I wanted to share with you the old version and the new version of the Ecoline Golden Ink. I will start swatching the old one and then I was swatching the new one, but I wanted to share with you the difference between them because I still can't see the difference. The old one I think is more thicker and pigmented, but the new one is actually more liquid and the color is a little bit different than the old one. Actually, that doesn't affect the quality at all. The quality for both of them is really good and I still recommend them for you guys. So if you find the old or the new one, I also still recommend them for you and you can just have a try with them. Okay, next I have the Golden Fluid Iridescent Burns Fine Color. This one is really so good and I really like to use it with the uh, plaque painting or plaque mandala or something like that because it's take the work from place to other and I really like the quality of this one very much because it's really so so special okay guys so next is Sakura Pin Touch and here I will swatch the gold and the silver and the copper color and three of them are absolutely my favorite and I like all of them Next is the Uni Posca. I don't use it much, but I think it's good quality and I have to share it with you for you to have an idea about it. Okay, next is the Uni Pulse Signo and this one is a pro liner and this one is also my favorite. I like the gold and the silver and the white color of this one. last one for today is a Sai Acrylic Painter and this one actually is a Chinese brand name but it's so good quality and available in two different sizes. I really like it so much and recommend it for you if it's available in your country. If it's not available, I will make sure to find a link for you guys to purchase it if you are interested in it. So make sure to check the description box after you watch this video. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. Here is all what we have swatched today. Let me know in the comment section which metallic paint color is your favorite. Is it the gold or the silver or the copper? Or do you like the gold rose maybe? So let me know in the comment section. I really would like to know you more. Also, please let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to see on my next YouTube video so I can work hard on it or maybe I could put it on my idea list so please let me know in the comment section your ideas and i will definitely read all of them so you are reaching the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like share and subscribe for all the future's video and here is some demos i have did with my metallic inks hope you guys enjoy it